Hey everyone, my name is Haley and this is the house we're hosting. Today I wanted to do a quick video and show you a DIY Valentine's craft. Now I don't know if you've ever done a salt dough craft before, but I love this. It's a very simple recipe. You can do it for many different things. I've used it before to create the handprint imprints um, as well, or you can even do ornaments with them. But today we're going to be doing salt dough picture magnets so for start your recipe is going to consist of salt flour and warm water and you're going to mix it together to create your dough and then once you create your dough in the consistency that you would of just regular cookies you're going to knead it out and get it nice and flat and i knead my dough really well and then i use a rolling pan and get it nice and flat and then once you get it in that shape or consistency that you want what you're going to use is some cookie cutters and to create the magnets so again i'm doing heart shaped picture magnets so i used two different heart shaped magnets one was a larger size and one was a smaller size for the inside to cut out the middle piece as you can see here this was my larger size i started with that and then i went back in with the smaller size that will be the picture cut out so when you're doing this step, it is very similar to doing sugar cookies. You're just gonna use your cookie cutters to create the shape that you want. And then once you get that shape, I always try to peel back the excess dough so that I can get those cutouts easily onto the baking sheet and that they don't kind of curl up or anything like that because once you put them on the baking sheet, how they look is how they will bake. The difference between this recipe and actual sugar cookies is that this dough doesn't rise so the shape is really not going to change much so however it looks when you put it on the baking dish and you put it in the oven that's about how the size is going to be when it comes out so keep that in mind i'm doing three picture magnets but again you could do however many you wanted to do or you could do whatever design you wanted to and you don't even have to do magnets if you wanted this to be ornaments or just little gifts to give to somebody that would be a great treat and a good surprise as well. And then you're gonna bake it on 250 degrees for two to two and a half hours. Once you take it out of the oven and it's done baking, you're gonna let it fully cool before you start to decorate. And again, you can decorate it however you would like. I chose to paint my hearts. I did some pink and some red. And then once I got them painted very good and how I wanted and it was dry, I went back inside the hearts with Mod Podge and did that and then coated it with some glitter. I love this because you'll see when you take it out that they're hard like clay and they last for many years as long as you take care of it and you don't create your dough to be too thin. If the dough is thin, then when the magnet or ornament, whatever you end up making, when you finish it, if it's thin, it won't break. So you want a medium thickness. But again, this is the start of my picture magnets. So I'm using magnet buttons that I found at Dollar Tree. You could probably find some at Walmart or Hobby Lobby as well. But what you're gonna do is cut out your pictures and glue it to the back and then glue on the magnets in the three corners if you're using a heart. But once you get that done, the craft is complete and you're ready to go. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick and easy craft. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for being here. Bye guys.